everyone, in today's video we are going to cover solving systems by elimination. Our learning target for today is I can solve a system of linear equations by elimination. When we solve systems by elimination, we can follow these steps to do so. First, we want to make sure the equations are lined up. So my x's are together, my y's are together, and then my constants are together. Then we want to add or subtract the equations to eliminate the variable with the common coefficient. So I want to identify what variable has the same number in front, and then I want to either add if the variables are the opposite or subtract if the variables are the same. Then I'll solve for that remaining variable. Once I have that variable, I will substitute my answer of that variable into one of the original equations and then solve for the other variable. Looking at number one, we have negative 3x plus y equals 4 and negative x plus y equals negative 2. Notice how all of my variables are lined up together. My x's are together, my y's are together, and then my constants are together. I want to identify what variable has the same coefficient. In this case, we have the y's as just one y. So I'm going to eliminate my y's. Notice that they're both plus y. So I will need to subtract one of the equations from the other in order to eliminate the y. Now when I subtract that, I need to subtract the whole equation. So if I subtract my bottom equation, that's like changing every term in that equation to become the opposite. So the negative x will actually change to positive x, the positive y will change to negative y, and then the negative 2 will change to positive 2. Now I can just add everything straight down. So negative 3x plus x would give me negative 2x. y plus a negative y would give me 0y. And then 4 plus 2 would give me 6. Now I have negative 2x equals 6. I divide by negative 2. So x is negative 3. So if I plug it back into negative 3x plus y is equal to 4, I'd have negative 3 times negative 3 plus y is equal to 4. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 plus y is equal to 4. If I subtract 9 from both sides, I'll get y is negative 5. So my solution to this system is negative 3, negative 5. Looking at number 2, we have x plus 4y equals 13 and x minus y equals 3. So notice this time we have the x's that are the same coefficient, both 1x, so I'm going to eliminate the x's. They're both positive, so I'm going to need to subtract my bottom equation. If I subtract my bottom equation, then I'm going to change everything to be the opposite. So I have negative x, positive y, and negative 3 now. Now I'll just add straight down, so x minus x would be 0, 4y plus 1y would give me 5y, and then 13 plus negative 3 would give me 10. If I divide everything by 5, my y is 2. Once I know y is 2, I can plug it back into one of my original equations. So x plus 4 times 2 equals 13. x plus 8 equals 13. I subtract 8, so x is 5. So my solution to this system is 5, 2. Looking at number 3, we have 3x minus 10y equals 14, and 3x minus 9y equals 15. Again, I want to eliminate my x's because they're both positive 3x. I need to subtract the bottom equation, so I'm going to change every sign to be the opposite. So positive 3x will change to negative 3x, negative 9y will change to positive 9y, and positive 15 will change to negative 15. Now I'll add my equations together. 3x minus 3x would be 0x. Negative 10y plus 9y is negative y. And then 14 minus 15 is negative 1. I don't want that coefficient of negative 1, so I'm going to divide by negative 1. So y is a positive 1. Once I have y as positive 1, I can plug that back into one of my original equations. So if we plug it into the top, we have 3x minus 10 times 1 equals 14. 3x minus 10 equals 14. I'll add 10 to both sides. So 3x equals 24. We'll divide by 3, so x is 8. So my solution to this system is 8, 1. 
Looking at number 4, I have 4x plus 2y equals 6, and negative 2x plus 2y equals 18. This time I want to eliminate my y's because they're both 2y's. Again, they're both positive, so I'm going to subtract my bottom equation. When I subtract my bottom equation, I'm going to make everything the opposite. So negative 2x will become positive 2x, positive 2y will become negative 2y, and positive 18 will become negative 18. Now I'll add the equations together. So 4x plus 2x would be 6x, 2y minus 2y is 0, and then 6 minus 18 would be negative 12. I'll divide everything by 6. So x is negative 2. Now I have x is negative 2. I'll plug that back into one of my original equations. So 4 times negative 2 plus 2y is equal to 6. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 plus 2y is equal to 6. If I add 8 to both sides, I'll get 2y is equal to 14. I'll divide by 2, so y is 7. So my solution to this system is negative 2, 7. Now looking at number 5, I have 4x plus 9y equals 5, and negative 4x plus 7y equals 11. I'm going to eliminate my x's because I have 4x and negative 4x. This time I don't need to make anything the opposite because they're already opposites, so I can just add my equations straight down. 4x plus a negative 4x would give me 0x. 9y plus 7y would give me 16y. And then 5 plus 11 is 16. Divide everything by 16 to give me y is 1. Once I have y is 1, I can plug it back into one of my original equations to find x. So 4x plus 9 times 1 is equal to 5. 4x plus 9 is equal to 5. I'll subtract 9 from both sides. 4x equals negative 4. Divide by 4 to give me x as negative 1. So my solution to this system is negative 1, 1. In today's lesson, we learned to solve a system of equations by elimination. We want to add or subtract the equations together to eliminate a variable. Then we solve for the remaining variable and plug that variable back into our original equation to solve for our other variable. That's a wrap on today's video. We'll see you in the next one.